Every day before the masses arrive to the Vatican, the Clavigero opens its many doors. This morning, we have the rare opportunity to join the holder of the keys as we wake up the Vatican. A maximum of 20 guests on this tour ensures an intimate experience with both the guide and the museums around you. The Clavigero is the key holder of the Vatican, and we not only got to hold the keys, but we're lucky enough to open some of the doors ourselves. Each room of the Vatican Museum seems to have a different theme. My personal favorite is the Gallery of Maps. There's so many different maps telling the story of the The final room we unlocked was the Sistine Chapel. As the lights came up and we looked above us, we could see the masterpiece of Michelangelo. In a room that is usually crowded with people, we had the entire space to ourselves. It was an amazing experience, you know, to see the Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel without another soul around was just incomparable and well worth the price of admission. We loved it. What a way to start the morning. Now we're going to finish it off with breakfast here inside the Vatican. Italian life. Once you've finished your breakfast, you can head back into the Vatican Museums to explore independently and head over to St. Peter's Basilica. Who could ask for a more astounding morning? Being the first ones to enter the Vatican Museums, joining the Clavigero as he unlocked each of the doors, taking in works of art by Raphael in solitude. What an absolute treat to wake up the Vatican.